Hello, hello. I'm Chris with Legacy Woodworking, and welcome back to our manufacturing facility. So pardon the noise. In this video, we're going to be covering the new and exciting features, the auto tool change and spindle for the 2020 Maverick 4x8 CNC system. If you haven't done so already, head on over to our website to check out detailed videos on the new machine design and the new CNC controller. Just click right up there. Now the spindle is a six horsepower. That means it's gonna run off of a 220 single phase power source. You don't need a three phase power source or even a phase converter, but it still has all the power you'll need for cutting. The tooling is ISO 30 and it comes as an ER32 collet size. Now this tooling you can order specifically in different collet sizes from ER25 all the way up to ER32s. Now an ER32 will accept up to a 7 8 inch shank diameter cutter. And again, all cutters from that size, even down to one millimeter, can be accepted into the spindle. By combining the horsepower and the tooling, we increase your cutting speeds and your cut depth per pass, which it greatly increases your productivity. If you're already familiar with CNC, you understand the importance of a powerful spindle. If you're not familiar with CNC, you can see this cuts parts faster than you can on your table saw and with a better quality finish. The spindle can be programmed up to 24,000 RPM, which means you can match the perfect feeds and speeds and chip loads for the different materials you're cutting. It also rotates in the clockwise and counterclockwise rotations, which accommodates for left hand and right hand spiral cutters in the marketplace. Now obviously the spindle is auto tool change, but we can run it in a manual tool change mode up to 100 cutters, but sometimes you just need to run one tool. The spindle requires a dry air supply of 110 PSI. Now this performs a couple of tasks, including cooling the spindle and performing the auto and manual tool change procedures and the cone clean during those procedures. It also opens and closes the dust extraction system. The nice thing is, air cool systems require less maintenance. Our most requested feature for the Maverick 4x8 system was auto tool change. This system has a six tool change position, allowing you to start your programs, walk away to continue other tasks, and come back to see a finished part. Legacy's auto tool change feature is pretty exclusive. We were able to run a program that has more tools than the actual tool holders on the machine. For example, let's say we had a program that required eight tools to run a part. When it gets to tool number seven, the machine will automatically come to the manual tool change position so that we can insert tool number seven and tool number eight manually. Normally we'd have to break up a program into two separate programs, but this allows us to choose either option. The ability to switch from manual tool change to auto tool change is very useful. For example, let's say you accidentally did not place a tool holder in the tool clip, or for any reason the spindle is unable to automatically pick up the tool. When the system senses this problem, typically you'd have to just stop the program and start over. But when this happens, the system will automatically switch to manual tool change mode, allowing you to complete the part. After the part is completed, you can then resolve any issues with the tooling. We recommend 1500 CFM for the dust extraction system. It also has a six inch port here at the top. The brushes can be opened and closed manually at any time so that you have access to the tool. It also is controlled automatically during all CNC operations. Now you don't have to compensate between auto tool change capability and respiratory safety. Again, to watch more detailed videos on the updated frame design and the new CNC controller, jump on over to our website at lwmcnc.com or just click the link right over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the little notification box. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.